Hello Minecrafters and welcome to episode 13 of our Direwolf 20 Let's Play series. Uh, if you've been following along with us, uh, you've gotten to follow along with the creation of our well, wheat farm here. And next to it is our cow farm where we're breeding cows, sending the babies to the next pen, waiting until they become adults, grinding them up, and uh, collecting the mob essence. Well, what's new is, I can go ahead and jump on down here and show this. Uh, went ahead and started doing a little bit of construction off camera. And uh, so, if I can get out of here, this will be a mob spawner. And as you can see in here, there's nothing in here yet. I'm going to get that stuff crafted up, but I've said a couple of times that uh, I'm really low on ender pearls and having a difficult time finding them. Um, having a difficult time getting endermen. They, they don't seem to be around a whole lot, and I don't know if it's just the area I'm in um, or what it is, but I do seem to have an issue with, with finding a bulk amount of them. Which, of course, I haven't been to the end yet, because, well, I really haven't had enough ender pearls to spare to, to find the stronghold to cross over to attack the dragon. But that's neither here nor there. That's just where I'm at. So, today we're going to work on a spawner. Um, and get back up to the house real quick. Uh, I'm going to bat because I have been caught out in the rain three or four times. Each time I barely made it inside or morphed out of it before it killed me. And I mean like two hearts left by the time I got to, you know, whether I was changing back over or trying to get in here. So I figure three hearts is better than two. So I'll stick with the bat for a little while. I need to go to the nether and find a, one of those... Uh, beehives and kill a wasp because they can fly and they've still got full hit points they just can't go through a single wide door which is really weird but as I digress um I had two options that I was looking at um there's the ender IO they have the powered spawner and where are you I actually crafted the stuff to make it off camera and put it together and figured out it uses a whole bunch of power. So I put that back up and I did something else. I actually did that, um, well, back, I actually did that off camera before we did the cow form. Um, so I was just kind of playing around to see what I can do and I'm still not seeing it. I know it's right here. That one. Um, I, I made that. I made the the slice and spice and or slice and yeah, slice and splice. Um, and what else was it I had to make? Let's see, because there was a thing you have to make to. Uh, convert these oh the soul binder I made that and I went out I found an enderman got the put him in the soul vial converted it over made a uh, enderman spawner put it all together put power to it and my hardened redstone cell it took it from full to empty and generated one enderman so I don't know if I have a setting wrong, if I'm doing something wrong or what, I don't know. So I'm going to go at this a different way. Um, see if we can't get something different done. So what we're looking at is the auto spawner from Mine Factory Reloaded. It's a little expensive. Uh, I've got most of the stuff put together already, um, which is right here. If I can hit the right keys. 
You know, I hardly ever miss the keys when I'm off camera. It's really strange. So there's our auto spawner, and this will use mob juice that we're collecting out at our cow farm. Uh, next, we're going to get a couple of grinders made. And okay, apparently I was thinking about making something else. And I know what was it? Oh yeah, the conveyor belts. So I guess I didn't get the parts together for this. So let me find the parts and see what I can do. Hold on just a minute. Let me get this stuff together for our grinder here and I'll be right back. All right, I think I got everything together now. Um, and of course I was out of paper, so I had to make that to get the book. And But anyways, there's a grinder. Um, I'd originally set it up for two, but I think I'm going to just do one. Um, I can use the uh, conveyor belts to to get them all to the, the central point, and I think that might work a little better. Um, let's see. I've got pressurized fluid. I've got power cable or power conduit. I've got my item conduit. I need a barrel and make a chest. That eight? Yep. And what? Seven? Well, that's weird. I'm going off to the side over there. Um, do I have... A little slab looking one. Be nice if I was a little more prepared. <laughs> I tell you, it's, it doesn't matter how much I try and plan it, it, it there's always something I miss. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm not making. Oh, good grief. I'm getting ready to make the wrong kind. Uh, I was going to make a barrel. I want a chest, not a barrel. Okay, so. I need eight of you, eight, two, six, I think it's right, do that, and that, ta-da! One diamond chest. I don't know, I just kind of like doing that. Alright, so we'll head on over here. I wonder... I don't have an axe on me, do I? Of course not. Got every other tool but an axe. I think it might be just kind of take this and move it back to the other side. Oh, good grief. Can't stay on target. I believe it had just about been faster to switch to something that flies, go back, get an axe, and then come and do it again. But I'm not going to now. And we'll just move that there. And I'm gonna need. We got any cobble around here nearby? I need to go get some when I can farm it faster. Okay, so hit that. 
change over to that one. Close that, close that, and I believe that's the metal. Yep. I'll go ahead and open up another one there. All right, so I'm going to have my auto spawner. And I'm going to have my grinder. My grinder will be right here in the middle. Hmm. Oh, goodness. I can do this. Okay. All right. So I want the, the auto spawner has to have power. And it's going to have to have mob juice. Right? Yeah. So I will take and put this one first. And just put, you know, the little dot there. And then I'll do the power one. And then I should be able... I wonder if I should have that come down one. I might better. Which will... Let's see. I think that'll be about right. And then hit that. And actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and use some of the redstone from Ender.io and see if I can't make it to where I can cut it on and off. And then the auto spawner. So yeah, that came out right. Cool. Do do do. All right, and we're going to have to make a safari net, but we can do that a little later. <clears throat> okay, then our grinder is going to go here, and I want to close that off. Then I'm going to run power up and over, but not if I'm not on power. All right, let's put it on conduit. Okay, and then I also want, because this is going to output, man, my brain is not working today. Take that off. All right, put the fluid one on there, and then I'm also going to come over here and put the item, because we won't. Right, don't shift. That's a hard one for me. I always want to sneak right click, but you don't. You just right click. And then I want that there. And that there. Because then I'm going to take... Yeah, I want the empty barrel down here. Put the empty barrel there. Now on this, you can shift left click and then pull up, uh, and we want that on insert. That way any mob juice that this collects will go into this barrel. And then we're going to take our barrel from here, and that one will go up on top in just a minute. And we've got quite a bit, 40,000 millibuckets, so 40 buckets. All right, so... And their little diamond chest will go right there. And I think that's got most of it. I uh, am going to want to go inside. Alright, so I've got that done. Got that. I'm going to go ahead and put the conveyors down. Now, if you've never worked with these, they're kind of cool. You just click them down, and anything that gets on it is going to go right on along with it. Which, actually, I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I'm going to have these all go 
that way. Hmm, I need to fly. Well, I'm out of the rain now, so... that side I hope I'm made enough okay Then we just hit that. And that should take anything that spawns in here and send it right to the grinder. What's going to be fun is trying to get out of here. There we go. All right. night. I don't want stuff sneaking up on me while I'm trying to work. And get out of morph. And we'll make it daytime again. Alright, now we'll go up there. Finish up the power on top. Okay, that one reached. And how much of this do I have left? Not as much as I would like. But that's okay. I can just put the barrel right on top of that. And I don't need to worry about item. But I do need to get that redstone signal down. And let's see. I use that one and this one. I use the insulated one there because I want to make sure that that doesn't pick up a, a redstone signal from it. And then run that. To there. that and I think I can make a switch to go on that and we are close to having this set up um, I'll just have to get something from over here Oh, that's right. I already grabbed that. Oops. I am going to need to work on my uh, remote power. Um, I'm not really sure which one I'm going to go with. I like the uh, Ender IO Transdimensionals. Um, but I've got to get the Ender Pearls and stuff like that because oh shoot I wanted to stay ablaze so I can get back up there um let's see the ones for Ender IO there dimensional transceivers um see these Ender Resonator 
takes a vibrant alloy, which takes, you guessed it, an enderpearl. Um, what else? This, the level three, takes two enderpearls. Um, ender crystal. Soul vial. Okay, so another ender pearl plus an emerald. So that's what, four? And that's each. What all does that take? Yeah, okay. Um, so that would be eight to put that together. Um, so, and honestly, I don't even think I've got that many now. Um, the problem with the Oh, shoot, what's the other one? Um, tesseract. If, if you've ever looked into these, these um, use 25% of your energy. Um, so if you're sending 100 RF a tick into it, you're only going to get 75 out on the other side. Um, I don't know if anybody out there ever, you know, actually looks at the config files and things like that, but set by default, it is set, I believe, at 75% throughput. So it, it eats 25% of your power. Um, so I, I try not to use those because that's a lot of power that they use up. Okay, now I got to run my mouth. I can't remember what it was I was getting... Let's see. Good grief. My meds have done worn off. Okay, I need to make the switch for over here. I need to get the power. And I'm going to have to make a safari net. Now, where is conduit switch? So, binders, lever, and redstone conduit. So, I've got the redstone conduit. Four of those, and four of those. And I know I got a binder around here somewhere. That was four of those. And I mean, there's a lot of different switches you can make. Um, I just think this one looks kind of cool. Can't remember. Okay, those in the middle. Binder in the middle, sticks on the outside. Did I get it backwards? Redstone conduit. Redstone conduit, conduit binder, lever. Stick, duh. How about I make the lever? Yeah, meds are definitely wore out. My ADD is kicking in. Okay, now we'll go slap this on the end of it. Now, we've got our little on-off switch. I don't want to put that there. Oh, come on. Why will you not come off of there? Oh. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder if that's just a sink issue. Oh, there we go. All right, now where'd my little switch go? Okay. Take that out of my bar, because I don't want to put that back up there. But uh, you can see it's dark now, and when we right-click it, that turns green, which means it's on, and that should energize all of this, which we don't have power up there yet.
That thing don't want to let you jump or nothing. Okay. My still blaze yet. Yeah. Okay, we got that. And this is the one that kind of hurts. I hope this is going to be worth it. And the safari net. This is what we have to go catch the Enderman with. And then we put that into the um, auto spawner. And it should use the mob essence to replicate. And hopefully we will end up with bunches and bunches of Enderman. So if you will give me a minute, I'm going to go out and see if I can find the elusive Enderman. Oh, and I am going to need one more drum. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, and I, I lucked up, found an Enderman, got him snagged, and uh, it's kind of interesting, never really noticed this, but as I was leaving to go hunting, I just happened to look down, and I swear it looks like a face. But anyways, that's my life. That's, that's the way I am. I just kind of happen to notice things out of the blue. All right, so we're going to take and put that right in there. Now, you have the choice here of spawn exact copy, no, or yes. On this, we're going to leave it no. Um, this has some really cool uses. If we were to take an Enderman and knock him down to 5 health and then put him in the Safari net, we could spawn him with exact copy, and everyone that spawned would have 5 health. Um, another good use for exact copy is if you take this safari net, go into the nether, and catch a uh, wither skeleton. Bring it back to the regular world and spawn him here. If you don't do exact copy, he'll be a skeleton. But if you do, if you do it with exact copy, he will still be a wither skeleton. So, a little quick tip. Alright, so we got that, and... I don't exactly remember what I did with my power. But I do have another idea. The cool, another cool thing about these is since it's all an entity, if we just, you know, snagged a few pieces, they're all going to hold their charge. So I've got three of these at 5 million RF a piece. So I can take them and throw them out here and use them and change back. So I would rather this be daytime when I do this. Oh good, I'm turning the bed. <laughs> Alrighty. Leave it to me to break the bed. Okay. We'll go over here and we'll get our barrel. Pick up this one. And drop off that one. And it should. Okay. Set that back to insert. Now, eventually, I'll get some more of the uh, fluid conduit and bring it down so that I don't have to bring the barrels up here which honestly eventually I'll you know have it set up to where it's automatic but alright so the redstone signal is on so it should not spawn anything and I should be able to take and drop Okay, so I want to put it here. Alright, so that's filling up with energy. Doesn't use much. Okay. What we got up here? You've got power, but you're not running because the redstone signal's still on. Is the essence in there? Essence is not in there. OK. 
Okay, so we need to take and set this to extract. And I believe we're going to have essence in here now. Okay, we have essence, we have power. Do we have Enderman? There goes that. We have Enderman. We have Dying Enderman. Sweet. And hopefully I'll get some Ender Pearls out of this. My goodness, that thing is using a lot, it seems. Because it should be spawning one. I mean, it should only take 150 to spawn one. I thought I had like 40, which it doesn't seem to be using it as fast now. And why does this not seem to be doing anything? Okay, so you're now set to extract. Oh, I got an ender pearl. There we go. Something got fixed. That's what I'm talking about. So, we now have an Enderman spawner. We have Ender Pearls. Okay, that's a little loud. <laughs> Um, we're definitely going to need to work on a way to get mob essence faster, which I guess if I, I can take one of these, take this back out, let's see, take this over here, pop you into place, I still blaze you, good, I can fly out of here this time. Ah, if I can hit it. Okay. So like I said, we're going to need to work on a way to get mob essence faster. Um, I Ideally, I would like to get Cursed Earth. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, I believe that's the one that spawns stuff on. I would like to get that, um, but I have not found the sigil yet that you have to find in order to divide by diamond and, and all that stuff. So we're slowly getting there. We, like I said, we do have the ability to get ender pearls now. So this will greatly help with a lot of the ender IO stuff. Let's see, I can take this. Now, here's the cool thing, is when, when one of those is empty, I can just take it, throw it down here. 
because what it's going to do is it's going to average out between all of them. Um, so you could literally throw it down, pick it straight back up, and it's going to be mostly charged. It won't be quite full, but it's a lot faster. So, all right, so now we're out. How much have we got down here? That's not too bad. So, swap these out. Throw that one there to catch the other end. And there we go. So, we have Ender Pearls. And that makes me happy. Alright, so now I can move a little further along with Ender I.O. Uh, I don't have to be quite so hesitant about using Ender Pearls. And I need... There we go. We'll celebrate with some steak from our farm. And we will call this an episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything that you have questions about, leave a comment. If there's something you have, you know, if you're stuck on something or if you want a little more explanation, leave a comment. I do try. I, I read them all. I try to, I try to uh, reply on them. Um, you know, just let me know what you want to know. Uh, if this helped, please click like. And if you haven't yet and you would like to know when we're posting, make sure to subscribe so you can get that message. Uh, as I said in my last episode, I am trying to... I, I am attempting to have a video Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and sometimes Saturday. So we'll see it. Sorry about that. We'll see how the Saturday to get, how the Saturday goes. Um, but this has been been interesting. I'm I'm actually a little more comfortable getting back into the tech. I like the Batania. Um, I want to do more with it. Um, there's some really cool stuff. I mean, just you know, floating flowers on islands. I think that's just cool. I am not a decorator. Um, don't ask. It, it's not going to happen. It, what you see around you right here is about as far as I can go with it. If I see what someone else has done, I can copy it. But as far as coming up with my own, uh, that is just not me. But anyways, as I digress, I hope you enjoyed the episode. But uh, if nothing else, I just hope it was entertaining. I hope that you will come back to see us. And most of all, just hope that God bless. Take care.